Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to Ipdic. Uh, my name is uh, Martin, and today I will show you how you can install a virtual machine on your regular PC. So to start, it's important that you understand that a virtual machine is a software that's going to be running uh, on your physical machine. It's a software application that's going to be running inside your uh, physical PC, right? And it's like having uh, two computers in one, basically. Um, so, and it's also important you understand that not all uh, versions of Windows are compatible with Hyper-V, which is the tool that we're going to use to install um, the virtual machine. Hyper-V does not come with Windows Home Edition, uh, meaning Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition. So if you have one of these two, it's not going to work. All right, so um, let's get into this. To begin, click on the start and type control. All right, control panel, open control panel. And here it says program on this older program. If you see it differently, uh, if you see something like this, for example, you can change it to category. So make sure it says here view by category. So you will see this immediately. So uh, click on uh, on installer program. And on this left battle here, you see turn windows features on and off. Click there and look for Hyper-V. All right, this one here and make sure you both they both selected IPv management tool and IPv platform. Click OK. And once you click OK, the computer is going to start uh, installing that feature uh, from uh, the operating system. I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart the computer. But before I do that, I'm going to pause the video and then uh, continue when we reboot, when I reboot. Next step will be to download an image ISO. Uh, a Windows a image, Windows 11 image, which is the uh, virtual machine that I'm going to install here today. So you open your browser and navigate to uh, Microsoft.com. And, and then because I'm in Canada, it's going to take me here. But I will leave this uh, uh, this URL, this link. I'm just going to put it in my in the video comment so you can uh, go directly and download it from there. I'll give you the two links, uh, one in the US, one in Canada. So when you are presented with this, um, um, all you have to do is come here to the bottom and then uh, download ISO. I am sorry, um, download Windows 11, uh, disk image, uh, ISO, and then the selected download, selected multi edition, and click on download, and it will download. Um, make sure you understand where the file will be located because we're going to reference that in the step number two. The download will take approximately five to 10 minutes depending on your, on your internet connection. Uh, I will not proceed to do it now because I already have a copy of the image here on my desktop. All right, so that'll be a step uh, I can, I step number two of phase one. Okay, so let's go into uh, the final and uh, step, which is the uh, installation of the HyperB. For that, you click on here on, on, on the start and type hyper, you need to, yeah, and then that's Hyper-V Manager. That's what you need to um, to look for. And then right click to it. And then I'm going to take it to my taskbar here at the bottom. I'm just going to put it here to the left just to have it uh, close. And then I'm going to close this window and I'm going to click there. And I'm going to start the installation of the uh, virtual machine. So right here are all the configurations which you can you can play around with those. But I'm for the for the for the purpose of these uh, tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. So I'm going to say new virtual machine. And uh, I'm going to tell them um, where I want. Uh, I'm just going to go into the next step. And I'm going to call it VM1, virtual machine one. And it's going to tell me that it's going to install it here, but I can change the directory. I'm just going to go ahead and tell it, no, nope, I don't want it there. Um, I just want to uh, install it in a different uh, folder which I created for this, this one for example, and I'm going to create a new folder here and I'm going to call it VN2 type. So that's a folder where it's going to reside, right? And that's that's the link to it. Um, that's the path to, to, to the machine. So click next. I'm going to select generation one uh, and, and I'm going to say I want uh, four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, you can uh, you can give more, but just for this illustration, uh, I'm just going to leave it as default, click next. And then here is, uh, it's reference to your network connection. So 
uh, connected to you with the full switch and then click next and this is where um the virtual disk that's going to be created uh, is going to take 127 gigabytes um, from your hard drive. It's going to have it just dedicated to that. Um, uh, you can reduce or enlarge, but minimum you need at least uh, 100 gigabytes. Um, so I'm going to leave it as this default. I'm going to click next, and here is it's going to it's going to point you. You need to point it to where the uh, the ISO is. As I said, I put mine on the desktop. So I'm going to say I'm going to install it from an image file that I put on the desktop. It's right here. All right, desktop, double click on it. I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to go and say finish. OK, and it's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to create my new virtual machine. So as you can see here, I've created a new one before, but uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, run the installation. OK. Now, if um, if I click on connect, I'm going to click on start and it's going to prompt me to for the installation. That's a normal installation, as you can see here. It's going to bring you to this window, click next uh, and then click on install. And when you get here, uh, just say I don't have um, a product key. Make sure you select the pro. The Windows version. You can you can install whatever you want, but I'm just gonna install the Windows Pro for for this purpose, and I'm gonna click next. And of course, it's gonna give me an error. It's gonna tell me that this PC doesn't run Windows 11. I do have a video just dedicated to this one, which I uh, I released back in February. You can look for that one. Um, the video title is exactly as it says here. This PC can run Windows 11. You can look it up in my channel, and uh, it's gonna give you the solution. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to pause the video right now. I paused the video because I wanted to connect to the other visual machine that I just created and I just uh, uh, fixed uh, the issue here that was presented. Um, so I'm going to select Windows Pro. I'm going to click Next. And after I do this, it's going to take me to the uh, the uh, applicable motors and licenses. I'm going to agree to accept the uh, Microsoft uh, software agreement. I'm going to click next. And here I'm going to tell them install it there. I'm going to click next. And that's how the installation will proceed. Once the installation is completed, you're going to boot. You're going to uh, start your new PC as if you had uh, purchased a new one on the store. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Uh, from Toronto, Canada, have yourself a great day.